My mom had cancer, my brother had cancer, my sister had cancer, my other sister that was alive at the time had brain tumors. In Carisoso in 1945, the air was pristine. There was no environmental air pollution. There was no dirty water. There was no chemical poisoning. Well, we were only 40 miles from Trinity site. Well, I grew up in a small town, 30 miles from Trinity site. Paul is referring to the site where the U.S. government detonated the world's first nuclear device as part of a top-secret effort codenamed the Manhattan Project. The area, known as the Ornada del Muerto, or Trail of the Dead, was a remote stretch of desert thought to be uninhabited, but New Mexicans living downwind of the 1945 detonation, known as downwinders, claim that there were ranchers living as close as 12 miles from the site. 1945, of course, we're in the midst of the war with Japan. The test had to occur before July 17, which was the first day of the Potsdam Conference, where Truman was going to go in with Stalin and Churchill to negotiate Europe. Truman wanted to walk into that meeting knowing whether the weapon would work or not. The project was rushed, and given its top secret nature, residents near the Tularosa Basin area weren't warned before or after the detonation. Radioactive fallout from the Trinity test landed in cisterns and holding ponds and was ingested by vegetation and livestock relied on heavily by the community. The chief medical officer for the Manhattan Project would later propose an uninhabited radius of at least 150 miles for future testing in order to ensure public safety. I think about my grandma, my uncles and my aunties, and some of them have died from different types of cancers or different diseases that are listed under the Radiation Exposure Compensation Act, or RICA law. The law Leona is referring to, RICA, provides a one-time reparation payment to those who may have developed cancer or other specified diseases after being exposed to radiation from atomic weapons testing or processing of uranium. RICA has awarded over $2.4 billion in benefits to more than 37,000 claimants across multiple downwind counties since 1990. The program limits compensation to individuals who live in parts of Nevada, Utah, and Arizona. And because the current RICA law is due to sunset in July of 2022, the Tularosa Basin Downwinders Consortium are calling for federal accountability. We were American citizens. We served our government, and we really thought that bringing attention to it would bring relief. That didn't happen. And then when we found out that there had been a fund set up that was compensating other people, paying restitution, etc. we couldn't believe it because we were the first people ever exposed to radiation any place, and we had been conveniently left out. Communities like New Mexico, where the Trinity test site was, that community was left out of downwind protections. How could that be? Senators Ben Ray Lujan and Mike Crapo have put forth a bipartisan bill calling for an extension of the existing law, as well as an amendment to include compensation for New Mexico's downwinders. And on the lower house, a companion bill was introduced by another New Mexico native. I've seen firsthand the impact on the families who were either miners of uranium or potentially exposed through the uh, explosion of the first atomic bomb here. And it's heartbreaking, and you can't but help be moved to do something. But not everyone is on board. The science does not support the assertion that atomic weapons testing caused widespread instances of cancer. Representative Tom McClintock from California, for example, opposed the RICA amendment on the House floor earlier this year and credited the testing with preventing a military invasion. We reached out, but his office declined to comment. In contrast to Representative McClintock, New Mexico legislators argue that an apology from the federal government is long overdue. And for them, the battle is personal. I had lost my father to esophageal cancer, my mother to lung cancer non-smoker, my sister to lung cancer non-smoker, my grandmother to leukemia. It was only after I began working on these that I realized that they were exposed. Um, my grandparents and my parents to the explosion because of where they lived. My dad was a state representative and a speaker of the house in New Mexico as well. 
He passed about a decade ago with a bout of stage four lung cancer. My dad was not a smoker. Um, he got sick because of exposure on the job while working uh, as an iron worker at Los Alamos National Laboratory. New Mexico is home to multiple indigenous communities, like the Mescalero Apache in the Tularosa Basin and the Navajo or Diné Nation in the north, many of whom have been impacted heavily by both uranium mining and radiation. Rica is a band-aid. The actual thing that needs to happen is cleanup of all the abandoned uranium mines across the country. Stop doing nuclear testing. Stop developing and creating new nuclear wastes that we don't even know how to handle. And yes, we need RECA. We need, we need that law to continue in perpetuity because radiation continues in perpetuity. I think it's very clear that New Mexico hasn't been treated fairly. We haven't been provided the data yet concerning their radiation exposure. The fact that our government did nothing to collect data did nothing to assure safety, actually put secrecy over safety and put human beings at risk during the testing. Because of all of those things, they, there should be no one excluded because they can't prove or disprove who was affected and who was not. This bill will mean the difference between life and death for some people. Thanks for watching Radar 2022. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below and let us know what issues are important to you. Because let's be honest, we've all got issues. Some of us more than others.